What makes the next research study that you and I are about to review of quite beneficial utility is basically the ease of the intervention of self. In this case, let us utilize the outcome of lowering LDL cholesterol. Now, let's introduce a caveat. In the study itself, they use California table grapes. That does not necessarily mean that other grapes may not have the same impact uh, for better or worse, but we want to stick with the study parameters and the study parameters in this study was California table grapes. Well, what the research study did is did the study in people, which is a plus, and within four weeks, LDL cholesterol dropped quite significantly. So think of it this way. You work with your medical professional, looking for an intervention that is not necessarily a medication, i.e. enter California table grapes. But to proceed, and again, to caveat, doesn't mean other grapes may not have the same impact, but for the study, that's what they used. And they were freeze-dried as well. So let's get right into the research. Grape consumption benefits gut microbiome and cholesterol metabolism. To proceed, healthy subjects consume the equivalent of one and a half grapes per day. Now, this was a freeze-dried form, and we'll go through the breakdown of the freeze-dried grapes at the end of the video. But I want to basically specify it was freeze-dried. Doesn't mean that you know fresh grapes don't do the same thing, but for the study, that's what they utilized. For four weeks, healthy sub oh, but four weeks, the subjects consumed a low fiber, low polyphenol diet throughout the study. So you can see the extra additional challenge. Fiber is a really good friend of keeping cholesterol levels um, in a healthy range. But now you're reducing the fiber down, and I'm talking below 10 grams. So low fiber for four weeks. So it put a lot of the onus of basically the effects of lowering the cholesterol purely on the polyphenols or the components of the grapes itself. But to proceed, after four weeks of grape consumption, there was an increase in micro microbial diversity as measured by the Shannon Index, a commonly used tool for measuring diversity of species. Among the beneficial bacteria that was increased is Archimonsia. That's real important because you're seeing Archimonsia now in a lot of uh, arenas, especially when it comes to metabolism liver health, and as well as immune function. So it's an up and coming rising star. A bacteria keen interest for its beneficial effects on glucose and lipid metabolism, as well on the integrity of the intestinal lining, which may explain why the grape consumption seemed to improve the intestinal lining to proceed. Additionally, a, degree, a decrease in blood cholesterol was observed, including total cholesterol by 6.1% and LDL cholesterol by 5.9%. And here's the kicker. Bile acids, which are linked to cholesterol metabolism, were decreased by 40.9%. Henceforth, the drop in cholesterol. But to proceed, the backstory. What sparked, or I should say sparked, their interest in reference to grapes itself? Now, here's the whole lineup right here. But I want to bring your additional attention, even though it's not part of the study and we're deviating from course, look at the raisins, hepatic, uh, hep hepatic steatosis. And so if you look at that, uh, that's incredible for an eight-week period of time. So this, you, the grapes themselves, you know, depending on the form or regardless of the form per se, uh, have yield with all the polyphenols, which you read the entire list there, a myriad of different dimensions in order to improve an individual's health. Now, I know this can be concerned with the higher sugar content as well, but still, this was the outcome. And the outcome is the outcome. Now, to improve that, maybe by reducing the sugar content to the freeze-dried grapes later on, so be it. But that requires another study. But to proceed, the study design. This was a two-phase intervention study, including a four-week standardization phase and a four-week intervention phase. After four weeks of consuming a low polyphenol and low fiber diet. So keep in mind, before they went into the grape trial, you have individuals consuming less than 10 grams of fiber a day. And at the same time too, what is it? Less than three servings of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, you know what I mean. Healthy, free, living subjects consumed one dose or two servings of standardized freeze-dried whole table grapes about 46 grams daily for four weeks while con 
continuing to consume the low fiber and low polyphenol diet. So you can see the additional challenges here. So when you have individuals, for example, per se, consuming the grapes with a really, really low fiber diet, and yet still, you had that 5.9% drop in LDL cholesterol, 6.1% total drop, and a 40.9% drop in the bile acids after four weeks. That's just phenomenal. Now, let's look at this, uh, basically the composition of the grapes that they utilized. For the main reason being, it's important because, again, different varieties of grapes out there, so on and so forth, uh, to preface it, they utilize California table grapes just the same. But here we are. And so, again, would it work better without the sugar? Would it work better with more fiber? Uh, can you tweak it a little bit to get a, a yield, a, a more favorable outcome? Possibly. That's adding publisher bias and conjecture and hypothesis and speculation and so on and so forth. But sticking with the outcome and the parameters of the study itself, pretty, pretty phenomenal. Consuming less than 10 grams of fiber a day and yielding still a 5.9% in LDL, that low fiber, obviously I'm not promoting because that would not be very healthy at all, but just the same, the outcome was spectacular. So the takeaway from the research, incredibly, incredibly easy intervention in order to work with your medical professional, so on and so forth, if it is a requirement to lower that LDL cholesterol or total cholesterol down, uh, but just by consuming cup and a half of grapes heck it beats um beats how we describe it a lifelong uh, dependency on a medication grapes or drug choice i don't judge again just the same gratitude for the research being done i am humbled by you watching thank you once again to the researchers themselves and i look forward to see y'all once again next week catch you next time